This is going to be a memory keeping plan with me for the week of October 3rd through the 9th. I am using this kit from Pink Diamond Planner Co. It is called Hollow Party. Hollow or I don't know. It's like Halloween, the first half of Halloween and then party. Um, and then I'm using foiled underlays from Plana Hannah. These are the sparkle and silver holographic. Super pretty. Um, I think that the purple in this kit really makes these underlays look purple. I don't know why. I am, you'll see as I'm putting down the plans. I will say I am thoroughly thoroughly obsessed with underlays now um love them I almost just would love to just do a plan with me without any plans and just have the full sticker full box stickers and the underlays they are so pretty now I see why people are obsessed with them um especially since I don't it's really weird I love foil but I don't like a lot of foil I don't know like I feel like so, I, I can't remember who mentioned this, but it's exactly how I feel about um, foiled overlays. So, the ones that go on the foil box stickers, I feel like it really takes away from the art in the foil boxes sometimes. Um, it's just not for me. And I know, like, I don't know, I, I slightly cringe when I see people put, like, quotes over boxes. And again... It probably looks so pretty in real life and I don't know it's just like the lights always hit the foiled overlays wrong and it just looks and I mean it happens with the underlays as well like when you're filming but I don't know I just I like to keep my foil to a minimum and I say that and at the end of the month I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using um, one of my mystery kits from Pink Diamond Planner Co. And it has all the foil, and I'll probably use all the foil. I just, I don't know. Like, Scribble Prints Co. showed a trick where you can um, take, like, a ruler and kind of get the um, overlays to kind of not show so much. And I really like that tip because when it glares a lot, it looks, I, I don't think it's so much that it's, like, a quote over a full box. It's more of, like, a the glare of the shiny paper on your sticker and then you can't see the art in the full box sticker and I just love full boxes they're probably my favorite thing in a kit it's why I buy a kit um so when I'm looking for kits I always look at the full boxes obviously and then I make sure that I want all the full boxes and if I don't want them all like is there alternative offered in the kit that I can swap stuff out and then I'll go for like, okay, does it have bottom washi? Does it have headers? Does it have, you know, enough boxes depending on what, you know, spread it is, or what, what planner I'm using it in. So anyways, so I like to keep my foil at a minimum, but I feel like underlays are just so pretty. So super excited to use this kit this week. Um, not, besides watching like... Halloween movies. I don't feel like I did anything um the third through the ninth that was very Halloweenish. But I do feel like it's in full swing at my house because I went to the pumpkin patch on the tenth with my kindergartner and I mean I'm watching all the scary movies as much as I can. Oh my gosh. I have so many to go through I didn't realize. And then I forget that I forgot some of them, so I have to like add to my list. I have no idea how I'm going to get through all of them. And I'm doing a trunk or treat this Friday, which is the 14th. But you will see all that when I get to my memory keeping. Anyways, so the only thing that I kind of did different, I if you saw in the beginning, I was struggling a little bit. And what I was trying to do was I was trying to figure out a way so that like I could put the headers right up next to the um, foiled underlays. But then I realized if I did that, then the next underlay would show the header line and I didn't want to have to white out stuff and so I was just like whatever you can't really tell that there's a line a little bit of box in between the a uh, little bit of box a little bit of white space below the full boxes and the um next header so I just left it as is I'm it's gonna work I'm I'm 
debating. I may, ah, oh, this like hurts to say this. I may do like planner inserts for next year for this planner. I have a long time to go, so it's not even something I'm really thinking about at this point, but I just, I probably will keep Erin Condren for my functional. For sure, my work planner, I'm not doing an Erin Condren. I'm just not going to spend the money to do that. I just write in it. I don't use any stickers at all, and I'm not going to spend the money just to write because I want nice paper. That is going to be the hardest part, is I really enjoy this paper, but I really would like the spacing to be better just because Erin Condren, like, refuses to fix that, um, even though I feel like I know I've said it in so many um, surveys, and I'm sure other people have as well, is, like, I just wish they would stop changing the bottom washi area, and I wish that they would go back to the way that the perfect header size with the full box size, and that just fit perfectly. You know what I mean? I don't know. If you've been around for a while, you know what I'm talking about. Like, three or four years ago it just fit perfectly and I feel like in a way to compete they changed it and then it made people not change their understandably I as a sticker shop I wouldn't have changed my kit so anyways I feel like I'm going on a tangent so I am using all the full boxes because I could not give up any of them you are going to see me put down the underlay at the top so the number one thing that I learned this week with underlays is that apparently once you put them down, you cannot pull them up um, because then it just makes all the foil come off. Apparently, I didn't even know that was a thing, but you're totally going to see me do it right now. And that is because I put that underlay so crooked, but all the foil just went all over my fingers. And so I had to stop the camera and come back. So, yeah. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead. Look, you're going to even see me like, I'm going to put it down. I'm like, what the heck? I Okay, anyways. <laughs> it's all over my hands. I'm going to show you. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the plans. Or not the plans. The memory keeping for this week. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I'm also going to put down these um, date cover-ups, which I kind of regret putting down because they're just really busy and it's hard to see the days of the week. I did use these date dots from an old Tilly B plans kit um which is funny because I didn't realize that I didn't I needed a nine so I remembered that I needed a six and then I just started putting them down and then it was like oh well crap what am I gonna do about nine so I was a genius finally for once I was one of those planner girls that was like oh I can fix this and so at first I was gonna I marked it out with a black mark and I'm like yeah that's not gonna work so then I just cut off a um piece of like extra on the side from one of the other stickers and, and now it looks like a nine so I don't know like for once I feel like a planner genius and like I'm never that type of girl like I'm always like ah oh, crap I would have pulled them back up I would have pulled up the whole like date cover up but again they're very busy so I kind of wish I just left it the way it was it looks fine the way it is so whatever it is what it is okay so now going into the plans and then hopefully I'll kind of catch up all right, so if you haven't noticed, when I do my um, planning, this is just the way that works out for me. I kind of like to space out the boxes first and figure out how many boxes I need in a day before I put down the stickers. That's just what works for me. So I'm going to try to be better at letting you guys see, not doing it so close up, so that you guys can see a couple days at a time. So that way, like... If you want to reference a sticker, it's in the screen, I guess. I don't know. Because sometimes I feel like I, like, move it really quick underneath to another spot. I, you, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. But anyways, okay. So this week I marked work with um, the labels that are in the kit. They are really cute. By the way, the actual, like, colors in this kit are so pretty. I love them. Um, the purple and the pink and the green and the black. Just perfect Halloween colors. I will be using this same art in my functional planner for the week of... Obviously, my functional planner, like, we're way... Because I'm super behind right now. Um, for the week of the 17th through the 23rd, I will be using, like, the orange scheme of this that came out. 
um, in my functional planner, and that one will be from Planner Sister Sticker, so you can look forward to that. I will have that up on YouTube as well. Oh, the other thing that I really did learn this week, and that I was really bummed about myself that I did this, is I was trying to put these countdown stickers in this planner. I don't think I'm going to continue to do that because it just takes up space and I could have had these underlays showing a lot more if I just didn't put those down, number one. And then number two is just like, I'm why would I look backwards for a countdown? So I'm just going to put them in my functional planner. So now I know countdowns don't belong in this. So we know that moving forward. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now I'm actually going to get to the plans. I know I've been talking about it, but now I'm actually going to get to it. So First thing that I mark on Monday besides work is that I was tired. So I mark that with a Carly Plans script and a Crafts by Towie, um, like pajama set. Um, then I marked with a laptop from Tilly B Plans and a Busy AF script from Carly Plans is that I was busy at work. Again, nothing has changed this week. I am so busy. It's crazy. Um, then I marked with a Charlotte Paper Co. little pencil that I went to our other campus, which is like 40 miles away. And like, usually there's heavy traffic, but we didn't have that much traffic going in, um, is that I had to do a notary. So I am a notary, if you did not know. So I had to go, and then they had, like, my boss took me, thankfully. Um, she had to go talk to their board because we were trying to purchase the, um, we were trying to purchase the property. The school is trying to purchase the property that we are on instead of having to go look for another um, place to either lease or buy. And it looks like we will not, they, the board denied our request. So anyways, we went to go present that as well. Then we I marked with this Oh Hello Michelle Co. Um, coffee cup is that we had Starbucks and Wiener Schnitzel for dinner. I know it sounds kind of weird, but it was super good. I just got some chili cheese fries and I have I get my order from Starbucks is a um, vanilla latte. So good. Then the last thing that I mark on Monday is that I got some Happy Meals. So the script is from Sarah Elizabeth Prince and the um, Happy Meal icon is from Carly Plans. I got Scribble Prints Co. and Planet Hannah. So again, that will be in a haul uh, at the end of October because I have decided to do an October um, sticker haul as I go basically. Moving on to Tuesday, the first thing that I mark is again work, and then I'm going to mark with a um, half box and a script from Taryn Sticker Shop, which is really hard to see, so hopefully you can see it on camera. It's kind of hard to see right now as I'm looking at it. Um, this is happy birthday, and then a balloons, it's like a set of balloons from Carly Plans is that it was my dad's birthday on Tuesday. Then I marked with a um, tiny little tulip like zombie girl on a computer and a made with southern love script that I was super tired this day as well. I don't know why but I think it's just maybe I need to go back to exercising every day. But I am exhausted. I mean, I don't know if this is going to change, but I'm exhausted. If I do anything after work, I'm so tired. And unfortunately, I've been staying later at work this week. And then I've been, which I haven't even marked, which I probably won't mark because I'll forget. It. But I've stayed like at least 30 minutes every day after work this week that I'm currently in. And I am just, whenever I do something after work, I'm so exhausted. Like, I feel like it's taken up like me time and like. I don't know. It's just really strange. It just throws off my, my whole week, I guess, almost. And then, like, Friday, I'm not even going to come home until 8 o'clock. So I'm going to go to work at 7, and then I won't be home until, like, after 8 because we're doing that trunk or treat. So 
Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Um, the next thing I mark after that with a Carly plan script and a tiny little tulip girl with her head like on the floor is that I had a headache that day as well. Um, and then the last thing that I marked with a Sarah Elizabeth Prince like fork and knife is that we had um, we went to Black Angus for dinner for my dad's birthday. Moving on to Wednesday. Um, so the first thing that I marked, by the way, the countdown stickers are from Sugar Pop Fizz. Um, so after that, I'm going to mark with a laptop from Craft Penguin Planner and a script from, oh my gosh, Carly Plans. I don't know why I blinked all of a sudden, was that I was really busy at work again. Then I marked with a purposed papery appointment, doctor appointment thingy. Um, actually, the gr my girls had dentist appointments this day. Then I marked with a shopping script from Kenzie's Creations and this little sticker sheets from Carly Plans is that I did some shopping this day, I believe. Oh, I ordered my Scribble Prints Co. Advent? No, maybe that, was that this week? Yeah, I think so. The Advent calendar, right? I think so. Because this week was 30% off foil, which I did another order. I swear I order from them like every week. Okay. Then the last thing that I marked with the Tilly B Plans um, cell phone, which I don't know if you can see very well. We'll see with the camera. Um, is that I did interviews this day. So that is basically why I was busy. I think I mentioned it last week. Um, our HR lady decided to retire. And so I got some of her task, which include apparently doing some of the interviews and posting jobs and... Yeah, basically, like, I just had to, I did a bunch of phone interviews that day, and then I booked, after that, I booked the people that we liked uh, for the Zoom interviews for the following day, and then we hired someone pretty quickly after that, but yeah, so I'm helping my boss out because we don't have anyone HR and we're not hiring anyone HR, so it's just gonna be a bit of fun for a while, but I'm still doing some of that stuff, so we are going to be hiring for some other positions, and so I had to post those as well. So, learning some new stuff. It only helps me in the future. So, anyways, moving on to Thursday. The first thing that I mark with a Fox and Pip coffee cup is that I had Starbucks this day. I've been having a lot of Starbucks lately. Um, and then I mark with a Carly Plans little fire is that there are little fires everywhere and we're putting them all out. And yes, like things are totally falling through the cracks and things that like we clearly should have known we're not being taken care of are definitely we're not taken care of. And now we're all like picking up the pieces and scrambling to do them. So it's been a lot of fun. And I'm not the only one like it's trickling to everybody, it feels like. And so everybody's in a really grumpy mood and it's it's happening this week as well. Everybody's overwhelmed. Everybody's annoyed with each other. Like, oh, and we have to go through the whole month without any breaks. So it's going to be fun. But then November will have a lot of breaks. December will have a lot of breaks. So it'll be nice. It'll be nice. And maybe I'll catch up one day. <laughs> Anyways, um, then I mark with a Carly Plans little takeout thing is that I had Flame Boiler that day. Um, and then I mark with a... This is kind of out of order. A tiny little tulip, like, anxiety girl. I don't know what she is, but um, I had really bad acid reflux this night. Um, and then the last thing I marked with a Scribble Prince Co. McDonald's is that we had McDonald's for dinner. So I actually had the acid reflux, like, at nighttime when I was going to bed. Like, I felt like I was going to throw up. So, yay for that. Moving on to Friday. Um, first thing that I mark in a like movie marquee, which again, I did not watch this movie at the beginning of the day. I just, after I realized the, um, like once I put down the box, I was like, oh shoot, I watched a movie. I wanted to use the movie marquee. Was that I watched Corpse Bride that night. So the little um, icon is from Tiny Little Tulip. Then I marked with a sticker patch payday script and a tiny little tulip 
girl with money is that I that was my payday. Then I marked with a paper shire um, box of tampons is that I started my period, which is ironic because Carly Plans is doing a script this week that says period started or whatever. So I'm going to be ordering some stuff from Carly Plans because I think it's just fate that like I got these paper shire things, but then like I needed these other ones this week and I totally was like, I wonder if anybody has period started stickers. So anyways, I'm going to buy those scripts. Um, not the only thing I'll buy, but. It's just ironic to me. Then I marked with a what did I mark? Oh, um, yeah. Again, this is a little out of order. It's weird that I marked it this way. Okay, I marked with a Carly Plants little like bear with a cup inside of it. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about. Is that I, after work, I worked super late this night, which I will mark in a second here. Um, I went to, to, I went and had drinks with a couple of coworkers who stayed late with me as well. I like worked an hour overtime. Not an hour overtime, I worked an hour over, so, than I normally do. And usually Fridays we leave early, so for me to be there that late was nuts. So we went to drink afterwards, so. Anyways, then I marked with this paper clip from Sticky Soft Designs, again, that I worked late. And the last thing that I marked on Friday was with this paper shire. It's like from a um, school icon sheet was that it was decades day at our school and birthday Friday. So me and the girls dressed up in 90s. So it was fun. Um, moving on to Saturday. The first thing that I mark on a Saturday, again, out of order, I don't know what I was wrong with me. Um, I mark with a Sticky Sloth Designs dice is that we went bowling. I didn't have a bowling ball, but we went bowling this day, um, for like two hours. It was fun, but I was in so much pain because I'm so out of shape for like two days, but it was a good exercise, so if you didn't know, bowling. But the thing is, is that right after that, I mark with a Simply Beautiful Plans, is that I had a nail appointment at 7.15 in the morning. So, basically, don't go bowling on the days that you get your nails done, because I feel like they're going to get messed up. Mine didn't get messed up, but, like, I didn't bowl as well, because I just felt like I didn't want to mess up my nails. So, either just don't get nails on, or I don't know. It was fun, though. We had fun. Then I marked with... Mm, this tiny little nope. What did I mark this with? Oh, 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 okay. This is a pink limeade sticker, the spider web sticker that's coming down. Um, so I marked without that out of nowhere there was a downpour of rain and we had thunderstorms. It wasn't expected, but it happened. And so I wanted to mark it and I just thought this was kind of cute because it's like a spider coming down and I just thought it was the coolest little sticker and like just went perfect with this theme so why not then I marked with a Carly plans um like old school mac like desktop computer and a Tilly B plans by all the stickers is that I ordered from sugar pop fizz and pink diamond planner co this day and then the last thing that I mark um, with a movie marquee and this tiny little tulips little ghost is that we watched Monsters, Inc. and Monsters University this night. Moving on to Sunday. So first thing that I mark on Sunday with this paper shire um, burrito and fries and like ketchup or whatever it is that we had Del Taco, which is funny because that's like, exactly what I had. I had that for I like a breakfast um, burrito. And then I mark with a Crafts by Towie um, planner is that I did some planning. I basically it was like planning out my sticker kits for Christmas. And I think I was matching up foil and seeing if I had enough foil underlays, I should say, because that's basically what I've been paying attention to. Um, and I think that was it pretty much because I think I wanted to order from Tiny Little Tulip, so... Which I uh, did. That's what I was doing. I was trying to figure out what I needed so that I could order from Tiny Little Tulip. So, the next thing that I mark is that I ordered from Tiny Little Tulip, which you can't see the laptop because it's really clear and hard to see, but it's from Sticky Sloth Designs. And the order stickers is from Sarah Elizabeth Prince. Then I marked with a Redhead Stickers 
um, kind of like a movie theater thing, was that I watched Lifetime movies. I think I watched like two that day. I'm really trying to get through all the things on the weekends, but it's really hard when I'm like bowling for two hours. Anyways, that's just, anyways. Um, and then the last thing that I marked on Sunday with a Carly Plans script and a Carly Plans TV is that I just binged watched whatever. So I'm trying to watch like Westworld and I'm trying to watch some Gilmore Girls and I'm trying to like catch up on shows on Hulu. Like I'm trying to balance it all out, but it's just too much at one time. But anyways, that is going to be it for this plan with me. I hope you guys enjoy this plan with me and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.